And we are live on Determined Radio. It is August 25th, I think. Yes. <laughs> anyway, we have a special co-host tonight. We have Corey Ether in the building due what to the up? fact that Stacy ain't here. So, yeah, there's that. There's that. That means that nobody's going to make fun of me. Nobody's going to call me white. Nobody's going to call me a hoe. Nobody's gonna talk about my tits. Nobody's gonna talk about I don't know what else. Why would you, why would you think Stacey. I would? Why would you think I would do any of that shit? <laughs> You're not. You are. You're gonna do all that shit to me. I've never talked about your tits. Okay. Well, you can if you want to. So if and, it's uh, necessary, it's fine. You're almost as white as me. I am almost as white as you. It's pink cheekbone. <laughs> <laughs> Corey Ether Lewis in the building. So for people that don't know, I know T. I know T. Smooth over here, who's in the building, doesn't yeah, know yeah, this story. What's up, what's up? So if you want to know a little history of Determined Radio, real quick, I'll tell yeah, you. Yeah. I'll tell you the quick version of it. Okay. Definitely. Determined Radio started three years ago because of him. Wow. Because this fool talked me into this. Yeah, yeah. Whole situation. How? How do you ask? He hunted me down. He hunted me down. Yeah. Where were we? At Illinois Radio's one year anniversary party three and a half, four years ago, whatever it was. And he told me I needed to be on radio. And I told him that he was a fool and fuck no. I said, fuck no, probably. How many times did I say fuck no? Plenty. Plenty. So many times. So now it's like the weekend's going and I'm thinking about this. And I'm like, this would be kind of cool. You know, I'm an artist manager too. And I'm like, this could like, you know, oh, it was that fast. It wasn't wow. 24 hours. See, there's parts of the story I forget. Yeah, right? yeah. It's, been, it's been a minute. It's been a couple years. There's a conference call to the... <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, she signed paperwork Wednesday. You remember all the details. <laughs> um, he is gonna remember. So any, so here's the thing, though. Okay, anything that happens at Determined Determined Radio, whether it's good, bad, stupid, ugly, whatever, yeah, yeah. all of it's his fault. No matter what happens, <laughs> it's all his. It's fault. all his fault. So if like something goes bad here, it gets a post. Corey gets his blame fault. it on him. It's everything is just blamed okay. on him. Good or bad? I mean, there's good stuff too that he gets blamed for. I don't too. know if he really does though. Do I blame you for anything good? Usually it's anything bad, anything bad. But yeah, that is the little that is a little history here. on Corey Ether. Three almost three years later. What do you think about wow. that? Almost three years later. Are you proud of me? Very. Good. You are. Very. Oh, I love Congratulations. It. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. November tenth is gonna be three years. I just remember the. I just saw it. I don't know what it was. It was just a thing. I, I don't know what it was. And I was just like, yo, I think you would be great at it. I meant it, you know, and I'm really, really happy about your success. Yeah, we love you so awesome, much. Awesome. We love you so much. I'm so glad you pushed me into it because like, he pushed me right outside that box. Yeah, yeah. He, he she was already outside the box. She mm-hmm. didn't even know. <laughs> didn't know, yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, you're sitting outside a box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You need to be in the box. Get yeah. in the box. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm definitely, I'm definitely glad I did it. I'm glad Stacy has been the co-host for three years as well. And okay. I, ta- I told her that, you know, I asked her, I told him that the only reason way I'm going to do it is Stacy's going to be my co-host. Oh, okay. so, and he's like, all right, do whatever you want. Mm-hmm. So I called Stacy, and she was like, wait a minute, I'm going to be the next Wendy Williams. Hold up. <laughs> so she just agreed to do it. So she's been with me th- thick and thin, and, and Corey too, for the yeah. whole three years. You know, any question, any mentoring, any of that, Corey too, I get from him. From lots of different people, but yeah. Definitely, but that is a little awesome, history awesome. of Determined Radio's history. But I want to know what's going on with a little bit of Corey Ether happening right now. It's a little Corey Ether. You see a little st- stuff's happening on Facebook that you're posting. Talk a little bit. Tell us a little story. Um, basically, it's a whole lot of gang shit. <laughs> gang <laughs> shit! <laughs> we can't say gang shit! I always wanted to say that, but gang I can't. Gang shit! Right, right. But, um, but nah, um... So the 14th of August, we uh, we did a fashion show uh, for, the, for the Ether brand. We have uh, a lot of cool stuff happening with uh, the ladies swimwear. And uh, we got the stuff for the fellas, so we did a fashion show. Okay. Um, so September 4th, uh, we're actually doing a uh, video release party. Um, this video release party is going to actually just hop on my Instagram at Corey. You can see R-E-Y-U-T-H-E-R on Instagram. Click the link, you will see the tickets. Um, we're almost sold out again. We actually sold out like within 24 hours. I'm um, we'll gonna post the link, so I kind of like extended it just a little bit, just so a few more people can hop in. But it's gonna be a really, really big deal. It's gonna be a party. Uh, might have some cool vendors there, you know what I mean? But it's really gonna be a celebration. Uh, a lot of cool things are happening, so I'm excited. Say it again. I'm excited. No, say it again about what you, what you said before. Oh, about gang shit. Right. <laughs> gang <laughs> shit. He said he's always wanted to say gang shit. Right. Oh, it's gonna be not like I mean I'm I'm excited because um I mean I'm I'm pretty much uh about to showcase new music and uh new merchandise at the same time. Right. Yeah. 
right? So I really wanted to find a way to uh, incorporate my, my brand all into one vision. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So shout out to my homie Deuce, everybody that was involved. Um, Brandy, uh, Nadia, um, Felicity, Gila, Jackie, Jakina, I'm forgetting somebody. Shout out to Jackie, just so you know, this Rob is a really important ethos. He's probably his twin brother. And shout out to my twin brother. Shout out to your twin brother. Shout out to my twin brother as well. Yeah. 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 What? Yeah, so this might not be for Ether, by the way. Whoa. This might be his brother. We, 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 we just never know. We yeah. just never know. You never know. know. T Smooth in the building. Welcome to Stone Radio doing? for the very first time. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. How'd pleasure. you hear about Stone Radio, by the way? Well, I uh, seen you guys through uh, Chops Diggity. Shout Chops out, Diggity. <laughs> shout out Chops Big Diggity. Balls. Yeah, I seen you guys and I hit you up and you hit me right back and hey, history. Well, shout out Chops Diggity who was here last night for the third time over here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for sending your friend over here. Where are you from? I am from originally Gary, Indiana. Okay. And then my uh, folks. Moved us uh, out to uh, Pembroke, Illinois. We have some land out there. To where? Pembroke, what Illinois. Is that? Where is it's that? a small town. It's about yeah. 800 people out there. Yeah, you know, there? Yeah, barely. You <laughs> barely. Do you know all 800 people? <laughs> Pretty much. We know. Everybody know each other. Everybody's related out there. You know. Where is that? It's right outside of uh, Kankakee, Illinois. It's about an hour and a half from here. Pembroke. Oh, an hour and a half. Outside of Kankakee? Yep. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Sound Not past Kanky, like, but it's an hour and a half from here. But Kanky Kid is like thirty minutes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fast, yeah. Fast, fast. Yeah. Fast, fast. Right. Well, that's Kanky Kid. Like, Basically, yeah. That's far. Well, how far is Kanky Kid? That's Pretty far. For real. Yeah. I yeah. That's a drive. drive. That's I how long I, that. I drove. I, yeah. That's how long you drove tonight. Yes, sir. Oh, right. yes, sir. So wait, you still live out there? I'm still out and there. And you came all the way out here. Yeah, and you were on time. Yeah. You were even early. I was Shout early. Right. Yeah, That's why I came what? early. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just <laughs> yeah, he left at noon. <laughs> Just to make sure I'm here. Like. Wait, so, <laughs> so wait, so when you're doing, are you performing in the sh in the city? I do perform in the city from time to time. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. that's gotta be hard. What's what's the music scene like out there in that 800 town? Oh, uh, I mean, uh, it's great. Like ever since I was probably about 13, 14, like uh, I've been performing out there. Like you know, we have this uh, festival we have every year. It's called Pembroke Day, and like I, you know, go sign up for that and I go perform. And actually, um, I'm going to be uh, headlining this year. Like you know, um, so. I have like a two hour set. I'm gonna be headlining and, you know, gonna do my thing, you know, to do what I do. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. So tell us what type of music do you create? R and B. R and B music. Okay. Yeah. R and B. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What if there was like I'm a, a singer songwriter? <laughs> what, what, what if there was like a rapper called T Smooth? Like Rapper called T Smooth. It actually is. There is a rapper. It actually called is, yeah. Yeah. He has like a dash in his name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a rapper. Like so like every time I upload New music, man, is like oh. next to his. <laughs> but is that having is that a problem for your music though? You no, I mean, I have the period in mind, and he's a rapper, I'm a singer, so it's like you know, two different things, you know. So <laughs> okay. shout out to you. Do you ever think about changing your name because the guy's in your way? Oh, uh, not really. I mean, you know, I'm a singer, he's a rapper, and it's actually spelled different. Okay, so then that that's actually it's kind of weird, of course, but you know, <laughs> I don't know how he feels. I haven't hit him up yet, but yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> so you're an R&B singer, and so do you perform with the band at all? Uh, the band. Where would that be located? No, I'm saying, do you, do you ever? Oh, perform with, with a the band. band. Yeah, my uh, sisters. Uh, I have three sisters. They sing, and you know, we just sing together all the time. Coming up, you know, I just got real serious about it, and you know, started. Uh, you know what I'm saying, going solo, uh, but yeah, yeah, you know, uh, like I said, we used to perform at Pembroke Day, you know, uh, together and do our songs, and we go in the studio and record songs and stuff like that, you know, so. So do you, yeah. where do you all get your, like, your production from? Um, you know, like I said, we go to uh, studios, like, you know, my uh, cousin actually, uh, out in Gary, mm -hmm. he started his own studio, it was called uh, Young Entertainment, you know, um, he actually was uh, 25. He got killed in Atlanta, uh, March 21st, 20, uh, 2019. Uh, he was 25, and along with his brother, 
he was 17, you know, they were shot and killed in the laundry room. You know, they were out there oh, helping, shit. yeah, they were out there helping our cousins move into their apartment uh, complex on, uh, at uh, Peachtree apartment complexes. Uh, you know, they were out there and, um, you know, um, they finished up, you know, helping our cousin out, you know, move in. And then, you know, they uh, were going to do their laundry and then uh, somebody came in and, you know, yeah. That's and just crazy. let it loose on them, man. And they were only 25.